you can build your own brand and build your own business. A lot of the people out there, they think, oh, I need a franchise. I got to buy a Dunkin' Donuts. I got to buy a Subway. Those are all well known and Shaquille O'Neal eats Subway sandwiches and all that stuff and it's all well and good, but those franchises are tough. You got to be there every day. You got to worry about staff coming in and out and not being there and snowstorms. Those, those types of businesses are really hard. I was in the retail business, but CCTG is so much more wide reaching because you can work where you want, when you want, with whomever you want, right? And there's just so many ways it can go and so many different products. You don't have to just sell donuts to the people of your town. You could sell financial products to anybody in the country. Right, maybe in your region, yeah, maybe you live in Chicago and you want to sell to the bankers and the, and the real estate people there, that's fine, but you're not limited to that area. So if you're looking into the program, I would say, think about that. It's just so far reaching, so you can tap into your entire network of people you went to high school with, college, whatever it may be, there's all those people and it, whichever it goes, you can dig down that hole. I think if you're looking into it and you have the itch for finance, or you have a background in finance or even a network in finance, I think it's a no-brainer. Hi everyone, uh, this is Kevin uh, Ma from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I actually attended the uh, virtual um, CCTG training back in, I think, uh, 2020. And um, it was so much to learn. And uh, today, you know, I decided to come back again to revisit the whole uh, training. And uh, I learned a lot. And um, yeah, back then, I mean, uh, I was doing mostly just commercial funding for hotel, for mixed use and uh, constructional. But uh, I feel like there are a lot more, you know, from the last training that I feel like I need to come back and learn again, like the uh, factoring and also the uh, working capital. And, uh, you know, the CTTG team, you know, has been very helpful. Like, you know, the, uh, Christina, you know, Chris, uh, Scott, everyone is so awesome and thought to, you know, uh, providing us with the, uh, the IT support. So, uh, yes, this is a great opportunity, you know, to learn more about the commercial lending. So, we're glad to be here. Uh, we had a lot of expectations about uh, CCTG. I will say that they went above and beyond and have over delivered what we expected. Uh, we couldn't be happier with everything that Chris and the support team and the rest of the staff has done for us. Uh, we're super excited. We've actually already got a couple of deals in the pipeline uh, as we're leaving the, the training here. So thanks guys. Thank you so much. We have been looking for this opportunity for the longest, longest time. Um, and we are so glad to be at CCTG. We have learned so much, so much um, valuable lessons. Um, some good tips, some good nuggets, some amazing team, um, the lectures, um, and what we um, learn throughout this whole session. And then we network with some of our um, other team team uh, members. And again, I'll say it is so good um, to be here and finally to be here to learn so much, much more to take back home to our communities and help um, so many um, businesses and um, work with um, other people that we can help a whole lot. Uh, definitely a great experience. Uh, this week has gone by really fast. Um, all the uh, lenders that we have talked to and all the other staff of uh, CCTG and the prime staff, um, everybody has been very welcoming, very supportive. And like Lucien was saying, we have learned quite a lot and we are looking forward to uh, going back to our communities in uh, Columbus, Ohio. But as we know, this business is global. So we are looking forward to being able to reach uh, many people around the world and see what difference we can make. We are excited and we are looking forward to uh, start up this business. This really touched me um, and it came a long way. Excuse me for kind of um, emotional. Because um, I did share, I left my job, I left everything. And I told David, I said, but it came from a long, from a long, long way. Because I've been doing things, I've been in different businesses, I've been working full time, and then also planning. Um, so when I saw your business, I was searching for franchises. That's how I find, found you on IFA. 
um, so I told David about it. I'm like, I don't know why, but I'm just gravitating to this um, to this course. Mm, he said no. I said okay. Since you are not into that, <laughs> David shot it down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Now, now it all comes out. Yeah. Now, now it comes out. What the full time? Yeah. So he. The guy who asked all the questions in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so he. So he shut it down. So I had to convince him, and then we ended up um, investing into um, commercial cleaning. Yeah. So we did that, um, which was good because it helped us, and then we had our kids in it. So we did it for like two years. But I told him that wasn't I, that wasn't it for me. So I keep on following you. I was reading like um, the different success stories. I would tell him again, and he would tell me no. So we keep on doing this like back and forth. But I just I just persisted yeah. because there's something, and I told him that I just saw something something in it until. Um, like January when I went to job. So we were planning on it. Like if somebody quits, what will it um, be for the other one? So we were planning on it. So I went to work um, actually in December. I told him I was quitting and he said no. So he went searching into real estate investment, telling us that is what we'll do. And I told him, so I keep on going back back to him and said, no, I'm not going to do that. You have to allow me. There's something that I see in this. So I went into January, I decided to turn in my resignation and I told him, I said, that's it, come March 17, I am leaving. Are we going to do this? So we spoke to our advisor. Um, she didn't want to release the money to us, but I told him that, no, no, no. So finally he gave in and he said yes. But, um, and he said yes, that's just how we got here. <laughs> but um, going through everything, because for him, and it was good that you said, um, um, Let's get the elephant out of the room because there are different perceptions out there. In the beginning, I'm yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because for him, he was like, gee, 25000 that's a lot of money, <laughs> right? But when we came, we have been talking about it. And I said, wow, did you see what we're getting? Because there was no way we get, could get this information at all. So what I want to say, just to cut it short, is to just say um, thank you um, so much. Because you could have gone and done anything else. You are successful. You have done different businesses but to take time and said I want to teach it to other people to help other people out because we are going to be out there who will see the soldiers work in these businesses and represent you um so for me it touched me that's why when I got this I was really really emotional to know wow to finally get here and do this after I've been following you I'll say I don't even know for how long yeah, I've been wow. just watching well, it was two or three years so it's or longer so than this time. moment kind of full circle for you Right, because finally you're here, you got that. Wow. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, no, thank you. That's a great story. You did it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you did it.